Welcome, welcome all. We are back in the building. We up university. You know what I mean? This is the special, special, special New Year's edition version. You feel me? We in here January the first. Uh, before I even go out any further, you know what I mean? I just want to shout out my guy Art Mitch, rocking the brand. Always respect the, respect the brand, you know. I am, you dig? You know what I mean? Check my guy out, Arthur Mitchell. He doing this thing, motivational speaker, inspiring a lot of people to be their best self. And, you know, I respect the brand. You should respect the brand, too. But again, welcome to We Up University, everybody. You think about it, we talk about it. We in the building, you know what I mean? And as I told y'all, I don't know if y'all happen to necessarily catch the pilot, but if you did not, I told you guys... Hey, my guy Black Love is in the building. <laughs> I told you he would be in the building. You feel me? And we here. Yes, January yes, 1st, yes. 2021. Yes, you feel yes, me? Black Anybody Love. who happened to get their eyes on this, understand. You are rare. <laughs> you are one of many. You are one of few. Because a lot of people did not make it through 2020. It's true. So be thankful. We here. We got a chance to keep grinding, keep shining, keep smiling, striving, thriving, whatever words you choose to use. We got that opportunity to do so. You know what I mean? But again, it's your boy Kazi and it's your boy Black Love. Talk to the people. What's going on, people? How y'all doing? As he all said, as he said, I'm Black Love. And welcome to the show. Yeah, yeah. We in the building. You know what I'm saying? So without further or do, just because it's the year 2021, I'm sorry, 2021, I just said 2020 so many times, it's about hard to just get it out your yeah. spirit, yeah. and I can't be, I'm, you, how you feel? I, I feel the same way, I feel the same way. <laughs> Boy, I tell it's you. a difficult thing to get out your spirit, because it's like, 2020 then brought us so much craziness and so much trauma, yes. it's almost hard to say 2021, I'm going to start saying 20 Savage. 21, 21. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I, I'm going to jump a whole nother year. I'm saying 2022. Sure. That boy ready to hot damn jump into a leap oh, year. But anyway, ready. so without further ado, yo, happy new years from the We Up crew. Yep, yep. Yeah, you know I mean? To you. Turn up. Turn cheers. Up. Cheers. Cheers. And more cheers. Mm. You dig? That's that Nah Creek. Mm. But you never had that Nile Creek? That's whiskey and bourbon. Bourbon mix. 100 proof. Yeah, yeah. He drinking that old sauce. Tequila. Stuff. That's that water. Hey, hey, hey. Water with no ice. Round of applause, baby. Woo! 2021. Yes. Like I said, many people yes. didn't see it, but we made it here. That's baby. right, that's yeah, right, baby. that's right. We made it here, you dig? So that's how we gonna rock with it, you know what I mean? But... You know, I'm sorry. I had to silence the crowd so I could keep talking. You know, cheers have came. Cheers have gone. We hit. That's right. That's right. We up we university, here. baby. You dig? You know what I mean? Uh, before I go any further, you know what I'm saying? I just want to say thank God, hmm. thank family, yes. and thank me. That's right. Thank you. You know what I mean? Thank right. me because um, I overcame a lot. Yeah. And I'm still striving, and I'm still trying. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But That's anyway, right. got my guy Black Love in the building. I told y'all, I cannot wait to get somebody on the couch because it's going to be a whole <laughs> nother vibe in the building. Uh, Black Love, truck life, baby. Black Let's Love, go. the truck driver in the hot damn building. We Let's here, go. you know what I'm saying? Let's go. And I'm sorry, before we get into the, the extra stuff, I okay. got to say this, you know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Granddad. There you yeah. go. R.P. Rich Right King. here. You know what I'm saying? This Let's right go. here. All day. It's a lot right here. Yes. Where, it, it ain't where it started because I know the heritage goes back. Well, there you go. But from what we know, mm -hmm. that man right there will cuss you out mm -hmm. and tell you he love you mm -hmm. 45 seconds later. Confuse the hell out of it. <laughs> you don't even know how to feel about right. life. <laughs> you just, like, okay. 
You know what I mean? But shout out to my granddad. You know what I mean? I love you, man. I miss you. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to both of my granddads. Right. You know what I mean? That's both right. of y'all done went on up there. Y'all sitting up in the, in the upper room. The upper room? Yeah, I mean, waiting on us to come through yeah. and top, chop it up with y'all. It's you know what I'm saying? Time, bro. I know granddad, they're compromising with Jesus, trying to ask if he can say a couple <laughs> cussing words. Yeah, right. You know, what I'm right. And then, you know I know my, my grandpa, Edward Farmville, he's sitting on the end of the pew telling my other granddad, Stop trying to get Jesus and make cursing out of sin. I don't know. <laughs> hey, it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Hey, look, he tried to, he, he, Grant, Edward, he up there trying to get Jesus to stick to the Bible. Richard up there trying to get Jesus to remix the Bible. <laughs> remix the whole Bible. Okay. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? But that's good, though. As long as they there, they are there, they shining, they winning. I love y'all. I miss y'all. You know what I'm saying? No, I wish y'all could have been here with us, but don't worry about it. We gonna shine for y'all. You know what I mean? But yeah, definitely. anyway, let's go. Like I said, we up university, we in the building, you know what I'm saying? New Year's edition, New Year's special. I was not gonna drop another show this soon, but hey, we here and we are doing it. You right, feel me? Right. But without further ado, as I said before, just reflecting on the year, you know what I mean? For me personally, you know what I mean? I look back and I see 2020, of course it was a lot of tragedy. Mm -hmm. A lot of lives lost, you know what I mean? A whole lot of tears, a whole lot of heartache, mm -hmm. jobs lost. I mean, you can't even explain the tragedy, you know what I mean, and, and the triumph. I only wanted to speak on the tragedy. I want to speak on the triumph right. of what people went through and how people came through, you know what I'm saying? But for me personally, you know, when I think about 2020, man, um, a lot of times for me personally, you know, in the past, I would always consider a lot of other people, and I still do. I still love people. I, you love me, I love you. You rock with me, I rock with yeah, you. That's true. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm taking from 2020 is not just self-love, mm -hmm. it's self-growth. Yep. You know what I mean? And yep. that's big for me. Yep. You know what I mean? So for yep. me personally, I took from 2020 that, okay, you can help people be successful, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, man, you got to embrace yourself. Mm -hmm. You got to not just love yourself, but you got to invest in yourself. Uh -huh. And you got to take time for yourself. Yes. You know what I mean? You can't yeah. keep being there for people when they want you to be there for them. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to say no. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. I literally seen a situation where somebody mentioned and they was like, saying no is a whole statement mm -hmm. in its own. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of how I view life. You know what I mean? I'm still here for my people who love me. I still love y'all, but I'm probably going to have to say no to y'all mm -hmm. just so I can focus on me. You know what I'm saying? Because if my the end goal is if I keep saying yes to y'all and I put myself on the back burner and I'm not successful in becoming who I should be or who God see fit for me to be, then I fail myself. I may have succeeded in your life, but I failed myself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So, but you know, Black Love, man, what you take from 2020, man? man Talk what to I, me. I took from 2020, I, what I took from 2020 was a, a learning to, like you say, um, take the time out and, and have self-growth, build, um, focus on what you want to do on to the next following years to come. Um, you know, um, again, it allowed me to be a uh, more and more and more closer to my son. True, and, true. And, um, you know... Family and, first, that's man. Right. Shout family out to first. Junior, Deja. There you go. Shout out to Dre. Dre. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dre a cool kid. I just want to... I don't yeah, know why I told too you cool, that, yo. Too cool. But, yo, Dre is a cool kid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. I love my son, and my son is who right. he is. Right. You know, we love him. Junior, love him. Yeah. Junior and Deja... They like me. Well, now, nah, they just, she a little more like Dre. Because she'll hop on the camera. <laughs> yeah, and dance yeah, I've seen that. I've seen with. that. Junior, he ain't rocking with the camera. Mm -hmm. Dre, you put the camera on Dre, it's showtime. You know what I'm saying? And I love that about that little guy, yo. Shout out to Dre, man. Most yo, definitely. Much love. Most definitely. He, my little man, he's smooth, man. I call him a little tie Because <laughs> every time, it's like, I, I just see that, man. Like, right. I, you know, I'm young. Big cuz tie. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Ty down in my big cousin. You know what I'm True saying? True indeed, man. Shout um, out, man. All day. Um, but, I mean, he, he was before me, of course. I'm I'm, I'm little cousin, cousin Ty. Right. So, but, like, it just, his swag, like, just how Ty is now today, yeah. as a, you know, as an adult, grown man, whatever. Right. I see my son like that. He's, 
a little bit goofy, but fun with it. Yeah. And, and swag to the T. Right. And right. like, nobody will ever take that from it. And I see that so much. Like, like, cause uh, it's crazy. Cause grandma peeked that the other day. I took, you know, I showed grandma that picture I took of. And he like, he look just like Ty on that picture. And I said, yeah, he do. It's shocking me. I mean, they both some light skinned niggas. Yeah, you know, big they, heads. Yeah, <laughs> big heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the biggest most, thing. You most know what I'm definitely. Most the definitely. Boys, but they have a perfect oval shape. Oval shape, yeah. Most <laughs> you definitely. Know what I mean? yeah. Shout out to Dre and Taffy out here. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, man. yeah, true shit, man. But, uh, yeah, man, you know, much respect. You know what I mean? Like I said, you know, to the family, Ty, Dre, our kids, man, we love y'all. You most know what definitely. I'm saying? I don't even think words can explain it. You know, of course, we would love to be able to implement more action. But, you know, as a man, if we don't get to the bag, the bag don't come. It don't come. You know what I mean? So, we out here, we trying to get to the bag. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I do love my babies. I love my little cousin, Dre Day. And I know my cousin, you know, super proud father. So, it's love and respect on that behalf. You know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? For sure, for sure. Just talking about... Um, 2020, man, you know what I'm saying? And of course, you know, we spoke on uh, some things that 2020 taught us, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So for me personally, I just want to get your opinion, man. Like, what's, if you could put your finger on one thing, just one thing and one thing alone, you know what I mean? That 2020 put you through, taught you that you can take from 2020 and take it into 2021. What would that be for you, man? Oh uh, man, um, is uh, I think what what I can if I could put my finger on one thing to take twenty twenty one, um, would be to to listen more. Oh, that's um, big. That's big. To listen more, um, because when COVID hit, um, I was one of them people out here that was like, I'm untouchable. I do what I do. I I clean my hands. I do what they ask you to do. I right. take my medicine. But when I called it, it was different. Mm. And it's like, you know what? You're not, you're not a Marvel character in this, you right, know, right. year. I mean, you, like where you, you, you know we, what I'm saying? We, we play the Avengers right? Game, but we ain't real we life. We ain't real life Avengers. <laughs> and it taught me a lot. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm, that's you know, real. Just listen. If they say this is happening, it's going down and they want you to stay safe, you know, follow the protocol, follow the procedure. I think that's what that's what I take into twenty twenty one. You know, what I'm saying is to just listen and 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 you know, not just listen with my mind, but listen with my heart because it's like you know, not everybody out here to steer you wrong in the wrong direction. Right, right. right. Um. So yeah, definitely, man. Because it was a tough time back in October. Most definitely, oh, tough bro. time. I mean, you know, I was here for you, so I. Oh know. yeah, yeah. You know Big cover, yeah. Yeah, Big cub with them. You know what I mean? You know like, what I'm saying? He was like, he was like the milk man. He just <laughs> drop your milk off and leave. Like, damn, you don't yeah. knock on the door, say so you deliver yeah. here, nothing. But I mean, he, I'm just being he was here for you, know man. Just Most being, definitely. Being, being in an environment, you know what I'm saying? And this is just me piggybacking right. off of what you just spoke on. You know what I'm saying? Like, but being in an environment where being around you and it's like, okay, damn, my cousin got COVID. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit real and I don't necessarily I don't know if I ever told you this. I may or may have not, but when I knew that you had it, I would go to your door while like two, three, four in the morning, bro, and I would listen to you breathe. Oh, for real. Straight up though. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Because understanding that this is a, a, a respiratory type of disease, yeah. mm -hmm. even if you was breathing hard or if you was breathing if you was having trouble breathing, I just needed to know you was breathing. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. So for me, yo, I got to pee. I bet I'm go drop that off. You know what I'm saying? Especially when they had to send me home because of the whole situation. You know what I mean? Right. You come across somebody with coronavirus, you got to yeah. take off work. You know what I'm saying? And for y'all people who either catch COVID or come across somebody with COVID and keep secrets and feel like, oh, I'm good and keep going to work. That's it. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all, y'all. That's this is real. It's real, taking out real. a lot of people. And everybody who believes it's a hoax, fuck y'all too. Well, <laughs> See, well, I'm just, just being honest well, with y'all. I'm glad I'm out of that category because I'm yeah. one of the people that didn't believe it. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It shot and, me in like the ass. Said, yeah. just, just being around somebody right. who had to experience that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Because I had tough, the time man. when I was home, bro, I used to sit in here and I would be like, 
it's my cousin breathing. Right, right. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And and I hear you cough, I get up. Right. Because I'm like, okay, you're not finna leave this earth on my watch. Right, 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 you know, right. Most definitely. Yeah, 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 same you know here. What I'm saying? Same here. So, you know what I mean? Like, understanding that and what you were just saying as far as just like listening, mm-hmm. like, I think that's key. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, for me, I guess the one thing that I'm going to take from 2020 into 2021, and it's so many different things that I could take, but I think that I'm going to take this one. Um, this is the one I'm going to speak on today, per se. Um, it's okay to be selfish. It's okay to be selfish. As long as you're being selfish in a productive fashion. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's nothing wrong with helping somebody. Because right. I'm big, I'm super mm-hmm. big on lending the helping hand. You know what I mean? But again, taking it back to the context of when is Delvin going to help Delvin? You know what I'm saying? Of course, I introduce myself as Cosmic K.O. Yeah, that's the alias. But at the end of the day, my mama named me Delvin. I'm Delvin. DQD. DQD. That's what the family called me. Uh, gotta say it slow, though, because it might sound like something right. else. Because if you say it fast, <laughs> it's going to sound a little funny. We ain't not finna get nah, into that. We not. We not. We not. Let that flow on. We going to let that flow yeah, right off the next there episode. Go. In the episode after that. But, yo, yeah, man, you know what I mean? It's okay to be selfish as long as your motive and your purpose yeah. is good. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um... Not saying that I'm selfish in the sense of fuck everybody else. Right. But more so saying that I'm selfish in the sense of I'm choosing me first. There you go. I and I'm choosing my children. There you go. Let me you get me saying? first. Let, let me get me. If, if I, I, it's like I can help you be a better you. Right. If I'm a better me. There you go. There you know what I'm saying? Go. And there it's like go. I catch myself because I have several years of experience working in the mental health field. Um, a lot of people come to me and they ask for advice and things of that nature. And I give it to them, you know what I'm saying, from, I guess, a therapeutic perspective. I'm not a licensed clinician, but I've been in the room with so many licensed clinicians. I might as well be a licensed right. clinician. Let's be with yeah. this. But I'm a truck driver now. There anyway, you go. I'm your favorite mm-hmm. trash man. Mm-hmm. There you go. You dig? You know what I'm saying? Go. I don't want to, but I'm going to have to get up in the morning and go get your trash. There Either you way. Go. You know? <laughs> Uh, either way, you know what I mean? Just like the idea of understanding that um, when it's necessary to be selfish mm-hmm. and, you know, when it's necessary to help other people, you know what I'm saying? But you also have to make sure that you are in a healthy place to help other people. Yeah, sorry. Because I caught myself a lot of times in 2020 giving advice to people in mm-hmm. certain situations and I wasn't even following my own advice. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'd be like, yeah, all you got to do, you know, you do this, you break it down like this, and then this, this, that. Then I hang up the phone, and I'd be like, God damn, I should do that. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. But it's easier to give advice than it is to follow the own advice that mm-hmm. you give. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's personally for uh, me, you know what I'm saying, what I'm taking from 2020 into uh, 2021, man. You know what I'm saying? And this, I mean, you can take you can take my advice as well as black love advice Mm -hmm. and uh, implement it into your own life how you want to, how you see fit and what makes sense to you. You know what I'm saying? But uh, the biggest thing, like I said, overall, the reason why you can take that into 2021 is why you made it to 2021. You You feel me? And I don't know if the numbers are 100% correct. I'm a big news watcher. I'm a diverse person, man. I watch sports, news, Lifetime. Well, not so much Lifetime. I have a lot of friends who watch Lifetime to keep me up to date. Shout out to Mama Muffy. Her favorite show or favorite channel is Lifetime. It's depressing to me, but <laughs> I'll tune in. <laughs> I'll tune in every now and then, you know what I mean? But shout out to Mama Muffy. Every time I hear her up, she watched Lifetime. I'm like, oh my God, stop, please. You making me sad. You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, just, you know, transitioning, like I said, we here, we up university. Um, January the first, man. You know, new year, new things. Um, what's thing no, before I get into that. Before I get into that, you know what I mean? Cause I know that you spoke on. I wanna get into something, but I wanna get into this first. 
Um, you mentioned that you had, you know, COVID. Right, right. Yeah, you know I mean, um, so where were you at within yourself? I guess with the whole social distancing thing, man. Um, man, like I said, following protocol, uh, social distancing, um, wearing my mask, uh, staying sanitized on the hands and, and not putting them in my face or mouth or anything, keeping like, you know, disinfecting my hands and everything whenever I'm about to eat or do whatever. Right. Um, disinfecting, you know, whatever I touch before I touch it. Just just following the simple protocols and it will it will carry you carry you, you know, where you need to be alongside with this COVID stuff. And right. you'll defeat it. You'll defeat it. That's real, man. That's For real. real. That's so. that's definitely real. Um COVID is real. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I done had a couple of my friends who lost family members, elderly family members, untimely because of this whole mm -hmm. situation. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's weird, though, man, because, I mean, when you speak in regards to social distancing, you know what I mean? It's just me on my behalf. Um, I don't know if I necessarily has practiced social distancing because I've been around people, you know right, what I'm saying? I've been right. around, it's like my homegirls and my friends and they throw parties yeah, yeah. and I'm there. But what's crazy is I recently had an incident where I went to my home, Peanut, shout out Peanut, you know what I mean? Have family. Hey, Peanut. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But so, you know, she had the family gathering prior to Christmas and I went by there, you know, kicked it with the people, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And then to have the end result be me getting a text about, yo, you was in the building with somebody who right. tested positive right. for COVID. So even in the element, it's like, okay, I'm in the building, but I'm trying to be socially distant. Yeah, socially but distant. being that the venue was as small as it was, right. you can only social distance so, so much. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? So... I don't know, man. Like, I don't think I've been following protocol yeah. to the best of my ability. I think that. No, I don't think that. I know that I'm going to do better. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's one of my goals. We're going to get on resolutions and goals in a couple of minutes. And now I want y'all to understand the differences. Um, because and I, and I kind of it's, it's a little tick for tack for myself mm -hmm. when you break it down. But at the end of the day, um. For me personally, like, I just think that's something that I need to consider because it's almost like I'm going to go into a venue and I'm going to socially distance myself between me and everybody else. Right. But I'm going to talk to the person who I know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then the person who I know may or may not socially distance from everybody else yeah. in the venue. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, that one person who has... COVID could then ultimately become a super yeah, spreader. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just think at the end of the day, man, we all got to, you know, consider the protocols, consider how we moving out here, man, yeah, because, definitely. like I said, you know what I mean? Everybody who thinks this shit is fake, it's a hoax, or whatever. It's really not. This guy is a living example of yes, it. Yes. You know what I mean? Y'all say, a lot of people say, well, this amount of people, they survive. Granted, it's great that you do come out on the other mm -hmm. end, but hell, I can survive stumping my toe. I still don't want to stump my motherfucking toe. toe. That's you know right, what I'm saying? That's right. It hurt. It hurt. That's you right. know what I'm saying? I don't want to do that. That's you know right. what I mean? So that's if right. I can avoid that, I'm going to avoid that. That's you know what I'm right. saying? And I say that if you can avoid the, the possibility of catching COVID or spreading COVID, mm -hmm. do so. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Simple and plain. Simple, you know what I mean? Just, just do so. You know what I'm saying? But uh, anyway, short turn to the left. You know what I mean? We up you. We yes in the sir. building. Yes, um, I wanted to touch on uh, New Year's resolutions, Ooh, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, real ones and fake ones, man. What you think about that? I was going to speak on it first, right. but I'd rather you go ahead on it this way. For me, for man. Me because, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, for me. I'm keeping it simple, man. I'm keeping it simple. Instead of trying to do, be out here doing a vision board and all that mm. stuff, man. Because 2021, I'm not going to say that it's going to be 100% better than 2020. Yeah. But what right. I, you know what I'm saying? Because we still got a lot to clean up yeah. and, and still got to have, we have a lot to fight for. Yeah. My thing is I'm just going to be better and better myself, you know, physically, 
um, financially and, and um, you know, emotionally and just, you know, just the, the key thing is be better. Be better than last year, Woo, you know, and, 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 and that's right. Stand, talk, stand 10 toes down talk, at talk, what man. I want in life and where I want to grow it into life. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Sure, so man. That's, hey. that's just going to be what it is, man. Man, that's, that's, that's I'm not going to sit out here and write, I'm, I'm going to get the Bentley truck, uh, and I'm going to get the big house. If it all come to me, I'm blessed for it. My motto to me is, honestly, how everybody, excuse me, <clears throat> would say, I'm chasing the bad. No, I'm chasing my blessings. Ooh. Because, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, Yo, I'm chasing my applause. blessings, man. Round you know, applause, forget the bad, man. man. You know what I'm saying? That, yo, that bad, chasing the bad don't mean nothing. I'm chasing my blessings. I'm chasing the blessings God has stored and has facts, in store for facts, me. Facts. That, and, and that's bigger, and that's bigger and way better than the bad. That's yeah. what I'm doing, man. Yo, that's... Yeah. For real, man. I almost, I'm going to be honest with you, I was with you, and I had Super follow up question, right? Just based off of some things you said, bro. But when you said, "I'm not chasing the bag, I'm chasing my blessing." That's right, bro. That's, that's right. big. That's right, man. That's big. That's right. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people they get it confused. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I and I and I just want to speak on it. I'm just just piggybacking off of my God black love. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell a lot of people this. You know what I'm saying? You can chase your bag. Mm -hmm. You can get your bag. And miss your blessing. There you go. You there can you go. still miss your blessing. Yeah, you sure People be like, man, what you mean? I'm struggling. Yeah. I ain't got no bread. I'm doing this. Right. I'm doing that. I'm going to miss my blessing if I get my bag. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to tell people this. And this is one of the things that 2020 taught me. I got my bag. But the one thing that I missed out on is something I can't buy. Mm -hmm. That's time. That's right. That's time. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. And that's why I say, you know what I mean? We made it to 2021 mm -hmm. because that's time. That's equivalent to time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a whole lot of people who spent 2016, 17, 18, 19, mm -hmm. 20 chasing that bag. Yeah, chasing that bag. And they ended up on the ventilator. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that bag that's required right. them to be in an uncomfortable position. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And whether they pulled through or not, I hope they did. God blessings. You know what I'm saying? Right. To whomever, whoever came across this or whatever, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? The bag is beautiful. Right. But time is gorgeous. Time right. is gorgeous. You know what I'm saying? So understanding that, um, just going into 2021, you know what I'm saying? Get your bag. I'm not, I'm never going to knock yeah, nobody. Never going to knock nobody. Get the bag. You know what I'm saying? Go get it. Get the bag. Because right. without the bag, your light's going to get there cut you off. Go. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Without the bag, the light's just going to be off. But get your blessings. Get your blessings. You know what I'm saying? And understand that the people that you, that, that love you, that you love, mm -hmm. that you have the opportunity to embrace mm -hmm. these moments with, embrace it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, of course, this is our New Year's edition, We Up University. Again, you talk about it, you, we know. You think about it, we talk about it. But either way, mm -hmm. having an opportunity on January 1st, 2021, to pick up the phone and call my mom. There you go, yes. You yes. feel me? That feels pick good, up the phone man. That's and call my grandma. That's right, man. That's right. That feel good, man. Don't take it lightly. Yeah. If anybody's yeah. in my shoes... Yo, you blessed. You blessed, man. You blessed. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's the prayer that I want people to continue to put out there and put on the forefront. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But again, you know what I mean? Like I said, uh, you know, 2021, you know what I'm saying? Um, as far as just speaking on these these resolutions and 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 I say and it's funny because I, I, I put a post on uh snap a couple of days aka oh, i'm sorry not aka check your boy out the real reason on snap what's your journal um what is my snap bad sorry about that my snap is uh black love black love yeah, black, black love, love and the real man. reason black but love. i uh i posted a snap that i posted a couple of years ago it was just memories of course this year ain't like no real memories is popping because everybody in the house but uh I literally said in my snap two years ago, we made it another year. Smile. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's right. That's it. You made it another year. Smile. Smile. That's we, you made it in 2020. Right, 
Smile, yeah. be blessed, be thankful, be thankful. we here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I was going to get into a lot of people in their resolutions. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Which I'm not a fan of. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is just my opinion on resolutions. I, I compare resolutions and goals. There you go. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I so, I don't like to have a New Year's resolution. I like to have a goal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, it's like it's almost like I right, start January first. I'm gonna eat right. Yeah. I'm work out. I ain't gonna eat after seven o'clock. Right, <laughs> you know right, saying? right. Yo, scratch all of that. If you want to be successful in something, don't start January first. Mm-hmm. Start July the fifteenth. Yeah. Why I say July the fifteenth? Because it's a random day of the week. Mm-hmm. Pick what you want to do in life. Pick what you want to be in life. Man, make it happen, yeah, man. Forget yeah. all these New Year's resolutions. Yeah, you know that's saying? right. That's right. And I'm glad you said that, man, because I would listen to one or two um, jams. You know, I'm sorry right? as I talk on resolutions to be yeah. healthy as I drink tequila. Yeah. But oh, I'm going to run a mile and a half tomorrow. 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 I promise you. Matter of fact, I ain't going to post it on my page, but I'm going to post it on my Snapchat. Shake your boy, be I'll, sweaty. I'm about to get this. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's gonna run a mile. I'm a drive a mile. Okay, okay. I don't know what I'm running a mile. Hey, I'm gonna drive it. I'm gonna come right beside him with a damn yeah. Bojangle chicken sandwich in my hand. <laughs> now, you all right? You want something to drink, bro? I do. Huh? Okay. Give me, give, give me, give me some tea with no ice. Okay, no ice. And, and then I'm gonna run an extra mile oh, just because I had some tea. Mm. That's gonna mm-hmm. be me. But now, nah, speaking what you were gonna talk about, could I talk to him. But like what you just said, though, man, what you just said, like, you know, don't start January the 1st, start July the 15th. And I like that because I was listening to one or two jam, which is a radio station uh, throughout the triad of North Carolina, Greensboro mm-hmm. area. And um, my man, uh, I think it was b I think it was b I can't think of his name, but he was saying something about that, like, why wait to January 1st? Start, start your resolution Four, five, six months before January first mm-hmm. of the new year, That's and it real. made a lot of sense. And it was That's like, real. you know, I like how you put that. Don't start January first. Do it July fifteenth because it's a random, it's a random day. Random day, man. You know what I'm saying? saying? It's about that choice. That's right. It's about you know that I'm choice. Saying? You make that choice. You make that decision, man. Right. It's like because I'm gonna tell y'all, and this this is this me, and I I don't fault for, fault nobody for how they live, how they operate, whatever the case may be. But this is only me speaking on me, right? So, I just said New Year's resolution after New Year's resolution after New Year's resolution. Mm-hmm. And then you get to Valentine's Day and then you be like, man, fuck this shit. I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? And it's not because you didn't want to make the change because mm-hmm. you pondered on the change. But at the end of the day, you want to put a date on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Today is today to be great. That's right. Don't wait to put a date on it. Just be great. Just be great. Just because you exist right. today. Be right. great on today. You know what right. I'm saying? And I get it. It's it's not easy. You you know, the, the visualization of what is considered great. Or you accomplishing certain things, it's it's a, a lot of things are based off of social media. Mm-hmm. I'll tell all of y'all this: it's not mm-hmm. the greatest that you will ever be is the day that you look in the mirror and say, "I'm great." That's right. Tell yourself that. Don't be you know what saying? Tell yourself don't that. post no pic. It don't need no caption. It don't. it don't need no retweet. It don't need no likes. It don't need none of that. Because the day that you like and love yourself when you look in the mirror, man, you great already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? saying? Like mm-hmm. that's just how I view things. Go back. I mean? Go back to Chain Song. What he say? What he said, if you woke up this morning, you winning. You winning. That's right. If you woke you up winning. this morning, you winning. And that's, already that sticks with me, man. Like if I woke up, I'm winning. You winning already. You woke up. Because somebody out there ain't they ain't wake up, up, bro. You know what I mean? And they got to take that L so whatever struggles mm-hmm. or whatever debt or whatever issues that they had with the person, you argue with your old lady, you mistreat your old lady, you cheating on your old lady, and then you mess around and you take it from this earth. Mm-hmm. The last memory that these people going to have is what you left them with. That's right. 
That's it. Think about it. Mm -hmm. Think about it. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, we think about it. We talk about it. That's right. Again, welcome to We Up University. We Up. We yeah, Up. Man. Man, I like that. K -O -Z. We Up University. Yeah, like yeah. Kazi. That's right. Black man. Love. Hey. We in the building. You Most know what I'm saying? This definitely. ain't even no whole coast co-host right. type of situation. Right. This is family. You know what I'm saying? We talking about building. We talking about branding. You know what I mean? And I mentioned it before. You know what I'm saying? I talk about we. And I use that simple word, W-E. You know what I'm saying? And I say wealth. And I say education. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because that's like the that. ultimate uh, goal to build this brand to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I mean? And education is such a rare form. Um, thankful to that I have children that I talk to who are super smart, super mm -hmm. cool, yes. super bomb. Um and that they feel like I'm educated because I make good grades. Mm -hmm. But I know a lot of motherfuckers that made good grades Woo. that ain't making it in life. Right, and made a whole lot of dumb decisions. Just just for the fame, just to look cool, just to hang Come with on. the posse that, you know, Come might on. they look for protection, bro. Come so, on. like, yeah, <laughs> I know a lot of them like that, man. <laughs> I ain't going to speak on I ain't going to say no name, but... Yeah. Yeah. What's funny is, I was going to mention a similar statement... And I was going to also say, I'm not going to say no names. Right. Because, I mean, we coming from, we come from, A.K. P-Town. 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 P-Town, 252. P-Town. There you go, You dig? Man. And I'm going to say uh -huh. it, and I'm going to say it again. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, just coming from Plymouth, man, that's one of the areas that just, just coming from an area like that, man, we weren't necessarily taught how to be successful. Right. So I never knock anybody who came from that area yeah. that didn't make it right. or that made it out of the area, mm -hmm. but then in return failed. Yeah. Because we weren't given the tool. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I love my hood. P-Town, Stand Up, Paler Court, White City, Wilson Street, Monroe Street. Hey. We all out here. Right. Wine Set Circle, Carol's Variety Shop. One All and day. two. One and you two. You know what I mean? We right. out here. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Some days. You mm. did. Mm. Mm. To the max, to the max. boy. Yeah, to, to the, the max. max. I miss it all. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, again, you know what I mean? Before we get up out of here, you know what I mean? I, I did want to speak on, before I left, I wanted to speak on the opportunity to do better as a black man. There you go. There you um, go. That's the biggest thing that we can do out here. Yeah. Most Doing definitely. better as a black man. Yeah. Uh, me personally, um, it's some things I've been pondering on. I'm not perfect and I'm never going to perceive myself as such or portray myself as such. Um, but at the end of the day, I don't promise to be perfect, but I'm always try to be great. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what I'm going to say for myself. Black like, love, what you what you want to say to Hey, me? I'm the uh, same thing. I'm on it with you, man. I ain't going to never put myself as a perfect, Mr. Perfect, but I am going to be great. I'm definitely going to be great, man, here on out forever. Um, not just for my sake, but for my son's sake. Facts. Just be great, man. Facts. And show him that you don't have to um, go to an eight-year school of education for us, like college or whatever. Fuck to, you know what I'm saying? Fuck college. <laughs> Fuck all that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, right, right. Sorry. right. Because they you don't. You see where we come from? They don't teach us the reality of if you don't go to college. Yeah. Or, as I, long I as mean, look, like I'm, I'm a college grad. Right. This We Are University, this whole platform was inspired by the fact that I went to college. Right. But 